Rise from your grave. Hello Quakers and welcome to another episode of The Quake Grave. Today we have a speed map pack for you. This is 179 and it came out on August 20th of 2017. So today we have five different maps in the wizard theme. So expect five different maps using all of the pretty much original id textures from the original game here. But uh, yeah, these are, these are very quick maps. Uh, they made them in 24 hours and let's see how everybody did with the speed map. Well, here we are in the first map for Speed Map Pack 179, the wizard theme. This is called Blue Blood Dysentery by Danzadan. We got 20 kills to make and two secrets to find. So let's do it. So let's say I heard heard you guys. Where are you? Let's sneak past you, grab this. There we go. You are down, sir. That was very, very tight quarters there. Whew. Okay, we got some health in there, health over there. We do have a hallway in here. Oh, ogres, we got knights, we got scrags. I can hear the scrags. Oh man, they are doing a number on me here. Grab that health. Take you out. I don't know how I'm still alive here. This is some real tight, tight combat. Wow! Hey, you're still going. Run over here, grab some health. Oh, nope, shells. I did have some health back here, too. There we go. Where are you at? You're gonna get caught on something, I bet. There you are, jerky. Got him. Okay, gold key opens that door, supposedly, but we gotta find where the silver key is. We're already at 8 out of 20, so we're almost halfway through the enemies. What's the easy way to get up to that? We did have two secrets to find. Is this gonna be one of them? Let's see if we can at least get it. Man. Quake guy, got no ups. Quake guy can't jump. Um, I definitely can't make the jump to that. Hmm, I don't know. I don't see a ledge to really jump onto to get up there. Maybe I'm just seeing things? I apologize if there's bumping in the background. We had some uh, neighbors move in recently and they're doing some remodeling, it would sound like. Let's see here. There's our silver key. I'm not gonna fret with the secret if I can't get up to it. What can you do? Okay, down and down. We're halfway through the enemies now. I was gonna say I knew there'd be a guy up here. Boom. Alright, we got the super nail gun. Who doesn't like a super nail gun? I'm gonna say, do something would happen. Oh, I hear a vor somewhere. I'm gonna say, I knew you'd be around. Try to get away from this thing. There we go. Getting good at getting away from those vor balls nowadays. 14 out of 20. There's the gold key. Man, really wish I could figure out how to get that mega health. But I guess it's just not meant to be, is it? Okay, something drastic is going to happen in here. Oh, maybe it's not so bad. I was expecting way worse. Hmm, oh well. Oh, there it is. There's the way worse. Jerk. Three more enemies to find and kill. I assume one is going to be a shambler, now that I'm out of nails. Yep. Did I call that or did I call that? Oh. Luckily, there seems to be plenty of health around. Dive under here. I don't think he could fit. There we go. 
two to go. I wonder what's going to be left. Wow, just right at the end. One more Vor, huh? <laughs> wow, that ball's actually like making it through. Was not expecting that. And there's still another enemy left. Who do you think it's going to be? Yep. Oh, bam. I don't know how that happened, but I was able to get him with <laughs> just the one shot at the end and totally jibbed him. That was actually a really cool little map. Danzadan. Nice job on that one. Um, you know, for, you know, these, these speed map, uh, these speed maps are sometimes really hard to, you know, create something that's, that's worth playing within 24 hours. But it seems like everybody who puts their mind to it on a lot of these, they, they're able to do it with no problem. And uh, this first one is a really, really good opening map. Uh, for the amount of space this map takes up, um, it's really, really good. It feels like a map, like, straight from 96, feels like a map that would have fit right in with uh, the id-type uh, maps from, you know, what was in the original game. So, nice job on this, Dan Zidane. I really liked it. And here we are in Dump Truck DS's map. It's called One Tim Purple. I'm assuming that's sort of a <laughs> joke name, referring to another mapper in the community, One True Purple. Uh, this this has uh, 34 enemies in it, 34 kills to make, and 5 secrets to find. So, it's pretty loaded with secrets. And I can tell just from looking at it at the beginning, it definitely has old school quake fine. Uh, old school quake feel. Gather your weapons. Where am I supposed to get weapons from? Okay, I guess I'll jump from here to here. That looks blocked off. So jump to here. That's blocked off. We got some fish. Ah. Better go up for air first. There we go. What do we got under here? We got some armor. We got a button. Not sure what the button did. Revealed a way to go here, maybe? Oh, that's another button. Okay, so we can get the yellow armor now. So we can get the armor. I don't have any weapons, though. Oh, Jesus. You can't be serious. What is this? Whoa, what did I just run into? Scrags? Oh, my God. This map is insane. Dump truck. What is this? Oh my god, I was not expecting that. Not that grunts are a big deal. But they're right in my face. This will respawn. Okay, well that's nice to know, but good good god, what is going on in this? I got some water. Alright, this is a pretty wild map, I gotta say. There's another weapon there, though. Take this guy out first. Okay. Only one more weapon to go. I assume it's a weapon thing? I don't know. I'll take out these scrags because they are just everywhere. Just want to eat me alive. Good lord. Oh boy. <laughs> that boar was like, hey, how's it going? I'm going to throw this up at you. I only got one grenade left in it, though. I think I, I think I hit it, though. I just want to grab some health. Escape that. Okay. Alright, I really don't even know which way to go at this point. I guess we'll go with this one. We got some knights. And, of course, there's going to be an ogre blocking my way here, and I am completely out of everything. So yeah, the nails will respawn, but who cares? Like, I can't... <laughs> I can't really get over to them, can I? Okay, I'll let you guys kind of do your thing. Whoa! Oh, I did get some rockets, that's right. Okay, up to get the nails. Get away from these guys. Collect the keys. Okay, we gotta get keys now?
And where, pray tell, should I find these keys? Man, we're at 23 out of the 34 enemies, so I mean, we're doing okay on enemy kills and stuff. I'm gonna wait for this, these nails right here one more time. This this map is really interesting. Is there's like no no real linear progression. It's pretty much you know pick pick the way you want to go and go for it, which is totally fine. It's you know it's a way to do your map. Yeah, but it's uh, definitely unexpected <laughs> for me. All right, so we got to hit both of these pillars with the keys. It would seem. Where is this? There you are. You're done. Okay, we still got a few more Vores to kill. I'm not too worried about them at the moment. But I guess we could jump in there and take them out with what we got, right? Take some pot shots here. Where are you? Oh my god, there's three of them in there? I had no idea there were that many. Can't get me. Oh, it made it. Gotta get away. Whew. Alright, they're dead. And at some point, that's gonna open up, it would seem. Alright, that brings us to 27 out of the 34 enemies. So again, doing good. How do we get up to the weapons up there? I want the good weapons. There's got to be some ways we just haven't gone yet. Okay, so we killed everything here. It's hard for me to keep track of like which way I've gone, though. So, Oh, there was a silver key. Where did I see that? There it is. And the gold key. So is stuff going to respawn? Okay, that's where the fours were. Okay, we were definitely here, but we can grab the nails at least. Let's see. Vores again. So I assume everything is just sort of, just sort of keeps repeating, right? Is that how it works? These uh, teleporters in this room, they only lead to three different rooms, or is there actually a secret room? Okay, I've definitely gone in the one facing that way. I've gone in the one facing behind me. This one takes you back up. Okay, so out of the four, yeah, there's three rooms and then back to the top. So let's grab the gold key, I guess. There we go. We actually need some shells, so I'll take those. We're going to do save before we go back to the top, because who knows what's waiting for us up there. One more to go. Oh, wait. Those areas are now open. Or that one area is. Oh, wait. But yeah, but that's just where we come out. Okay, that's right. I was like, maybe those will lead to the weapons, but... Do we go in here? I'm just trying to piece together how one might get those weapons up there. Not by continually falling in the acid, obviously, but... Let's grab these. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. More shells, though. I still can't go down here, though, even though it points down. All right, we hit both pillars, right? No, we didn't. Okay, we got this one to go. It is finished. Well, not quite. Yikes! Okay, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Oh, and of course, I happen to pick the one that <laughs> brings me back to the top. That's okay. We'll escape the shamblers, and this should be the exit here. There we go. Wow, dump truck. Very interesting map there. Definitely not bad by any means, but... Very, very interesting. 
Um, I love the idea of it, the whole the whole idea that you're collecting these weapons first, and then that activates, you know, you have to get the keys and hit the pillars and exit. So a very interesting concept there. Um, absolutely have no idea where the hell those five secrets would be in this map. <laughs> but I, I will tell you, when I started this map, it was a rude awakening for me. I was not expecting what you threw together there. That was that was very, very interesting. Um, but yeah, very, very interesting concept. I don't know that it's like the, the best execution of it, but then again, you had 24 hours to build the map. So for, you know, 24 hour map, I mean, you can't really go wrong there. I, I think this is a really, really well built for that. Um, it's a, I would say it's a, a little, little on the strange slash hard side. And that the, the reason it, it becomes difficult is just because there's no true direction as to where, uh, you, you're supposed to be going. It takes a little bit of time for you to figure it out. And not that that's a bad thing, but that does add a layer of difficulty to the level. Instead of making something that's linear with secrets on the way, you had something that was sort of a choose-your-own-adventure type of thing um, that did have a linearity. Like, it did have a flow to it, but you could choose how you got to the next point on your own. You you could choose which room you wanted to go into. Um, which room you were going into was a mystery <laughs> until you piece it all together. But very, very interesting concept, and uh, good job on this one. Well, next up is Muck's map, which is called Trench Broom Warfare. And no secrets to find, but we got 28 kills to make. So let's have at it here. Oh, dog behind us. You're done. There's already four of the 28. Who's next? I was gonna say I heard an ogre and he was not to the side. He's like up there. Get a button to open the door. Whoa! Whoa! There's a second one up there. It's like, didn't we already take you out, dude? There we go. He's done. Very nice. Nicely done. Ready at 7 of the 28. Scrags, huh? So that's your game. Scrags. One down. Switch back to our double barrel. We have some fish in the ocean. Ah, let's dive in. Why not? Why not, I say. Didn't really need that yet, but that's okay. I was going to say I could hear you. Got ourselves a nail gun up there. which will probably reveal something here in a second. Right, 15 out of 28, we're definitely at the halfway mark. Oh, a vor. Now that I was definitely not expecting. Difficulty just ramped up out of nowhere. Interesting. Oh, jeez. There we go. Okay, we escaped. And just in time to run back and grab some health. Wow, I was not expecting that Vore to just pop up right there. Very, very unexpected. Oh, totally missed those shells. I need to I'm gonna need those though. I'm already out. Let's try this again. Didn't mean to grab the health, but that's okay. Short map, right? We'll be alright here. Okay, we got some a little bit of platforming to do. Oh, there's more shells. Used up all our nails, which may not be a great idea. We got to sa start saving the nails, I think, because I think there's going to be a shambler coming up here pretty soon. Considering there is a war already, there's no rules at the moment. Anything could happen. At least that's how I view it. Oop! There we go. Wrong weapon for a moment. 
No biggie. Take them out quickly. Then we got you still. But not for long. Grab it. And let's see. 22 out of 28. Wow, we were very close to the end here. Some very tight quarter combat in this map here. Couldn't even get at me. Couldn't even get me. Nothing in this corner? Interesting. Thought there'd be something. Gonna be out of shells in a moment. That's okay. We got a few nails to keep us going. Got the silver key. We got three enemies to take out after this. One will more than definitely be a shambler. So luckily we have 89 nails. Wouldn't mind more. Oh no, that's the that's the end. Oh, I see. That's right. That was the uh, the fish glitch. There were three fishes, so it counted as two for each one. So that was everything. But uh, Muck, nice job on this one. It's interesting how different uh, your maps are when you have such a short time to create them. Normally, uh, playing through your maps, you know, there's a lot of attention to detail. There's a, a you know a lot of enemies to take out. You end up adding in like new fresh things in your maps too. Um, but it's interesting to see everybody's take on a 24-hour map. This is this is a, a great, competent map. But again, uh, because of the short time frame, you don't get enough time to really flesh out and detail everything at once. So you're kind of left to uh, create a map that feels like a map from you know 1996, which is totally fine because I'm I'm a fan of those maps, as I've said many times before. Uh, but I think what you built here is a, a very cool, straightforward, linear adventure. Um, you know, the texture usage might be a little bit muddy, but it is a uh, wizard-style map. You're using the original id texture, so there's only so much you have to work with here. Um, but I, I really like this one. Very straightforward, very fun to play, uh, has a challenge, and uh, just enough ammo to get you through uh, the whole of the map. So great job on this one, Muck. Next up, we have Natal Vini's map. We have uh, what he calls a map done in seven hours, <laughs> which is a very uh, on-the-nose title. Uh, but he has 154 enemies in this? Wow, I was not expecting a map that big in a seven-hour map. Crazy. We also have two secrets to find, so, man, okay. Let's let's see what happens here. There's our first enemy. We have a ton of stuff in here. Tons of health. Oh, man. There are a lot of dudes... Oh, man. This is going to be tough, because we got zombies all over the place. So you're going to have to constantly try to explode these guys while the ogres are just, like, pegging you. Get this one here. Oh, my God. This is insane. I don't think I really want that quad just yet, because <laughs> I feel like I'm going to destroy myself if I, if I do that. Need this health. All right, I think we're gonna save right there real quick because we're already at 29 kills of the 154. Take you out. Who's in here? I got an ogre. Whoa, dude! Oh, I did not quite. There we go. Got him. I say I did not quite get that that jump on that one. There's another save. We're already at 38. Oh, you're on my uh, my lift, are you? You joik. Wow, that is a uh, it's quite an opening, I must say. Okay, you're done. There's a million rockets all over the place. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Hey, guys. Bye, guys. Who's still hitting me? Someone is still throwing something, and I don't see him. Where is he? 
All right, well, we're gonna jump up and grab this armor. This might be one of the secrets. It's not, but I did grab it. All right, that brings us to 46. We still got about 100 enemies to find. Oh, there you are. You were just waiting there by the corner. Still waiting on the quad. Again, don't really feel like I need it. Not yet, anyway. This is some tight fight in here, but that's okay. We'll get him. That's the next one. Whoa! Man, that ogre really wants a piece. There we go. We'll take you guys out. And you. Don't need that armor. Hey, look at that. There's a secret with more zombies, I think. Will this reach? Not quite. There is a zombie over there, though. Okay, we'll go up, I guess. Oh, not what I was expecting. I should have, but I didn't. Well, the jibs are satisfying, I will say that. There are so many damn enemies in this map. Hey, ogre. Death from above, huh? Sucks to be you. Alright. This wall looks like it wants to open somehow, some way. But I'm not sure how. Jibs, jibs everywhere. That's funny. The secret in that room is just that there's like a ton of zombies. <laughs> That's really, really funny. I'm going to drop in there in a moment. A couple I didn't quite get. There we go. Save there. We're at 85. Okay, so I did come in here before. Very, very interesting. I must say. Uh, yeah, espe interesting, especially considering that there's... Oh, you gotta kill a hundred zombies to progress. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'll do my best. I don't know how many zombies we're at at the moment, but... Oh, didn't quite make that jump. There was another door in the starting area, though, right? Oh, there was a zombie. There we go. Hey, there's a secret area. Back in here, there was another door on the other side, right? Yeah, but it does not open at all. Okay, that's fine. All right, 89. So we're a few of those were ogres. We're not even at 100 zombies yet. Or rather, we're not even at 100 normal enemies killed yet. And we need 100 zombies. Holy crap. So they're, like, all over the place, right? We opened up that one secret door and got him. Or got them. Did we do everything there was to do up here? I think we did. We killed all these guys. We did hit that button. Hmm. I wonder where we have not gone yet. There's the quad. I'm sure we can't open this door, huh? Yeah, nothing. No response there. Huh. Okay. Interesting. So we gotta somehow find... a ton more zombies. This room was insane with zombies just... just when we entered it. And now I feel like we've we've really calmed it down, but there is not much to find. And I really don't want to grab that quad yet because I don't know what's in store, you know? Oh, there we go. That was an accident. Hey, that's all two secrets. I got 100% secrets. Who would have thought? 
That is 99. So is there one more guy lingering around and then we can open up the next area? Where could he be? Oh, this does open. Okay. Whoa. That really simplifies things, doesn't it? The zombie door is now open. See you, dude. Let's see. We're at 121. Oh, man, there's a bunch of knights. Whatever. You guys are down. You are nothing. Well, I know the zombie door is open, which is probably the exit for the map, but I kind of want to see what else is around, you know? If we got that many more... Oh, well, we don't really have that many more enemies to take out. 146 out of 154. Make that 147. Nobody hiding there. Oh, boy! What a cruel trick. Very cruel trick. I was not expecting that at all. Ah. Uh, Nate, you tricky, tricky, tricky guy. Throwing in a shambler there just for fun. I, I see what you're doing. Alright, I guess at this point, when, I guess we'll head over to the zombie door. because Oh no, there's another shambler. Okay. Oh boy. So if you hit that button, you just... <laughs> <laughs> you just unleash the shamblers. Good God. As soon as I opened that door, they were like, Get the fuck over here. Mm. So does that mean there's just shamblers running around all over the place in here? Mm. It would seem, wouldn't it? I'm going to run for it, though. I want to see what happens in here. See ya! Oh, get out of here with that. Wow. <laughs> what a map, Nate. That was crazy. I can't believe you were actually able to build all that in seven hours. That's impressive. That's, like, way more than anything I could ever build. I, uh, I was very, very into the, uh, almost, like gallery shooting carnival game type of thing that was going on with the zombies. I thought that was a very creative and very cool idea. Um, I'm not sure that I'm super into what was happening at the end with like three shamblers <laughs> running around, but there is a quad also. You know, I guess you got to learn not to uh, take the quad just yet, but it might be a good idea to be like, hey, um, you know, put the quad in a cage and then maybe once you get into that room and see two shamblers, then the quad is uncaged or something. That way the player doesn't waste it. I don't know. Something to that effect there. But that was a very interesting map. Probably the most interesting out of the four that we played so far. Uh, definitely uh, the, the most creative I might say. Um, dump trucks and yours definitely like took a completely different idea with a, with, you know, with a, a quick map that you had to make here. But I, I'm very impressed with this one. The amount of work that went into it and the amount of enemies somehow crammed into it. And there's nothing more fun than exploding like a shitload of zombies with grenades or rockets. Um, maybe uh, in that instance, I would have liked to have a rocket launcher for maybe the last part of the level. But regardless, like that was that was very cool and uh, good job on that one, Nate. I, you know, <laughs> really wasn't expecting a zombie uh, shooting gallery. That was cool. More wine is always a good idea. Here we are in the last speed map for Speed Map Pack 179. This is by One True Purple. It's called I Was Happy in the Haze of the Drunken Hour. There are five kills to make and zero secrets to find. I have no idea what to expect here. This looks pretty intense just from <laughs> looking at it. I gotta say, though, really loving the look of this castle. This castle looks really, really cool. One button gone. Only one more to go. What's going to happen? Sequence complete. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> I 
Oh my god, I gotta read this. This knight was drunk as hell. Their wine must be powerful. That knight was, like, super drunk. Look at the way he died and everything. This is... really silly and fun. We gotta go down? It's really dark. Okay, we got... weapons to grab. Peeking around corners here. What do we got? This is awesome. This is like a huge bar, uh, like pub with a wine cellar and everything like that. That is cool. But what is in this wine? That is the question, isn't it? Alright. I'm going to save right there because I have no idea. Once we grab this thing, we're going to have like four shamblers or vores or something. Uh, question mark. You received 250 health. Why? What is supposed to happen? Is that all that's down here? I thought those guys would be appearing. Oh man. The wine doesn't hurt. I love the, the pink lava style though. Okay, I get 250 health, but what happens now? Woo! Okay, yeah, I'm I'm totally drunk. <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. Oh man, that guy really did a number on me though. He took out took quite a bit of health from me. Oh my god, I'm like stumbling all over the place. This is hilarious. Oh my god, he's not shooting up at all. This is really funny. How are we supposed to take this guy out? Oh, he shot him better in the water, believe it or not. Oh man. His friend just shot him. So they must be drunk, too. Oh my god, kill this ogre already. Holy shit. Wow. Look... <laughs> just Let's just stand still for a second here. Look at this. My god. <laughs> I think this goes uh, beyond being drunk and into, like, some sort of other realm of, like, drug usage, you know? <laughs> <laughs> He's got to be on, like, LSD or something like that. There's something more going on here, but this is hilarious. Do I have, like, a superpower to, like, jump really high or something? Oh, my God, this is not going to go well. Where am I supposed to go? Here we go. Way up we go. Okay, who's going to be out here? That's the question. What? Shoot four switches to the left. Oh, I see. Oh, a little close to him. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> what's your purple? How am I supposed to hit these? I can't hit the broadside of a barn. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I'm going to die before I can hit these things. Oh my god, hit the... F Hit the fucking button! <laughs> I hate to say it, but I think Quake Guy's aim is worse than my normal aim in this one. Somehow. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe uh, One True Purple is emulating my aim in, in uh, any of the, the Quake playthroughs I have. Oh my god, I can't hit shit. Oh, I totally hit that one. Come on. Oh, two to go. I'm like almost out of shells. Where am I supposed to get more ammo? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, dude. This is ridiculous. One more to go and I die. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Okay, we already killed him. We could have saved a lot of ammo not killing these ogres. We could just run through, which I did not know before. But a 250, I mean, really probably could have outrun the Shambler. And, uh, you know, had plenty of health for everything. All right, let's try this again, shall we? This was the first button I hit. Oh, oh, he's getting me. He's getting me. There's one. 
Yeah, what is... There's two. Okay. Now, we're still doing pretty good. So we got those two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save and I'm going to try again. Before we complete the Quake Guy's drunken stupor here. Oh, jeez. He's going to... He's going to destroy me before I'm able to finish this. Oh, jeez. Was I right or what? Let's try this again. These ones up top are harder to get because you got to aim a little bit higher while still trying to stay away from Cathan here. There's one. Oh, Jesus. I was just doing great, too. Hit the damn thing. There we go. Oh, no! He killed me! There we go. That's really good. Stay away. I'm going back in and saving one more time. This fight is ridiculous. Oh, man. This is the way to do it, though. This is the, the spread that you're going to need to actually get this stuff. Jeez, man. Oh, there it was. He gave me the boost I needed. Up the quick elevator. Through the teleporter. Boom. So I, I guess there's no way to kill Cathan in this one. <laughs> oh, my God. That's crazy, One True Purple. So, just when I was like, okay, Nate's got the most inventive map here. One True Purple at the very end surprises us all and makes the most drunken Quake map you can play. And so, this is this is easily the most ridiculous and surprising map of the bunch. Wow. But this is great. You know, for a speed map pack, nobody had a bad map. We had two, like, fun linear adventures. We had two that were a little bit more unique, and then we had One True Purples, which is like sort of in a class all its own. <laughs> love this, though. Love love the hilarity of the drunkenness and everything. But, hey, everybody did a great job on this 24-hour uh, speed map jam, 179. Uh, really liked everybody's approach to it. It's it's great to see everybody's, you know, personality come through in their own map with how much time they actually had and, and you know, what textures they used and everything like that. Um, so very impressed with everybody's talent and what they can squeeze into this amount of time here. But there you go, everybody. That is Speed Map Pack 179. And I will see you next time on the Quake Grave. Be sure to check out all of my other Quake Grave episodes or jump into the GGRC show that I've been doing. I think you'll like it.